What's up, my stranded friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Bermuda Lost Survival. All right, guys, today we are going to upgrade our axe, and we're going to need to upgrade our axe because what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making the raft. Now, I think we have to make, like, a raft um, dock or something first, right? Then we have to make a raft dock. I've been doing a little bit of farming here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump all that stuff in there. There we go. And I'm going to put all this stuff on here for a rope. Ropey rope. We're going to need some rope. Okay, and then I'm going to dump the rest of this rope in here. We did find a lot of rope uh, last video. Uh, it was one of those... Uh, I don't know what they were. It was like a pile of like resources on the bottom of the ocean. So I went ahead and grabbed all that. That was freaking fantastic. Uh, so we do have a lot of rope now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right here to the dock and we're going to go ahead and craft that. Actually, no. Cancel. Cancel. Can we cancel it? Okay, good. We don't want to do that just yet. What we want to do is we want to take this and this and maybe some of this and maybe some of that. I'm not really sure what we're going to need. First things first, guys, let's upgrade the axe because the, the axe is going to help us get the materials we're going to need to make the raft. So upgrading the axe first would be beneficial. Hold down the E key. Again, like working with this UI is very, very challenging for me. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. So holding down the E key, improved axe. And we need the sticks, the old sticky sticks. Um, we need more sticks. Okay, that's great. Because don't forget, guys, once you get this uh, crafting, you know, bench, um, all you got to do is farm planks. I went over this last video. It's more efficient to farm planks. So that's what I'm doing. Farming planks and turn planks into sticks. So we'll take that and that. And that should be everything we need for the improved axe. Unlocked. Hells to the freaking yeah. Now we're going to do is we're going to put all this stuff in there and hope that we have enough for the docks. And we do. We're going to go ahead and make the docks. While the docks are doing things, I'd like to hit something with this axe just to see exactly what it can do. Um, there's a lot of good crates over here, you know, in, uh, by this shipwreck. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to hit some stuff with this axe and see what it does. I think it's going to give me two planks per, per hit. I don't think it's going to give me more planks per resource node. It's just going to give them to me quicker. Which, you know, is perfectly fine by me. So let's come on down here. By the way, um, you guys told me, see those things right there? Those, like, buoys? Uh, yeah, you can actually uh, break those up for, for metal if you hit them in a certain spot. So I'll go see if... I don't know if I hit that one right there, but if I didn't, I'll go hit it and show you. Look at that. See? Two planks per. It's just quicker. I love it. I love it. So these things right here you can hit, right? These are the things I was hitting. Yep. See these little things on the side? You can hit those and get scrap. Look at that. Two scrap per, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hells yeah, bro. That is awesome. And I think these respawn too. Because everything respawns in this game. Let's go ahead and hit this one too. Because this axe is so freaking beast. Arm strength too. I'm lifting. I'm, I'm going to be able to challenge Mad Mole to an arm wrestling contest soon. That's going to be awesome. Because I'm freaking jacked, bro. All this swimming around. Yeah, let's see what that arm two thing does. Instead of just making jokes, let's see what it actually does. Uh, abilities, arm... Oh, that was arm strength. Oh, okay, so arm strength one, encumbrance, arm strength two. Swim faster. So is that it for strength? Because I'm trying to scroll down, and it doesn't seem like there's any more down here. they got to add more of these, by the way. Um, I'm only on episode three, and I've already maxed out the strength tree, and endurance tree is almost maxed out, too. It's, um, it's way too quick, and I don't want them to slow it down, because that's just boring. I want them to add more abilities, you know? Don't... Game developers, don't slow down what's already there. Add more game content. When you just slow stuff down that's already there, it's just an artificial way of padding. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't slow, sing, slow things down if they need to be slowed down. I get it. Sometimes they do. But sometimes, I think I think people just do it because they don't have content. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, all right. So, let's go ahead and put that in. And let's go ahead and grab those docks. Okay. And um, I, you can't move the docks, can you? I don't think you can move the docks, but I don't know for sure. I guess it's irrelevant. We're just going to put them down and see what happens. It's not like they're expensive, so. Okay, so uh, how do we put stuff down again? Um, hold down E, go to construct, and there we go. Now we just got to kind of... Uh, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Okay, and there we go. We got some docks. Now you can use this. Oh, look at all this stuff. Coming soon. Ooh, quick travel. Oh. So now we can make a sailing raft. Uh, we have everything for that. Planks, sticks, and rope. I'm pretty sure we have everything for that. Uh, F. Keeping the E to use. There we go. And I know we have some more rope in here. Planks, sticks, 
Is that enough sticks? I think I only need 10 sticks. Uh, 10 sticks, 20 rope, 15 planks. Um, you gotta put it in here? Is it as if it's on storage thing, or... I do have... Oh. oh, storing. Okay, I see. My bad. Raft, and there we go. Beautiful. Let's take this stuff out, because I don't think we'll ever need to put it in there again. Because we've already made the raft. Okay. You know, I remember this game being really grindy. It doesn't seem that grindy anymore. It feels very reasonable. Oh, what's going? What's wrong with me? Uh, okay, mostly thirst. What's wrong with me? There's a lot of answers to that question. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our inventory. Consume, consume. Let's see what that did. All right, looking good. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead and save, and then we're gonna check out the raft. Oh, what happened to the little cover thing here? It's interesting. That's interesting. Save. Yeah. Climb up. There you go. And let's check out the raft. Okay, so the raft has a map. Which is, uh, it's a realistic map. It's not like, like an overlay map that just comes up here on your screen magically. Um, it's actually a map. You sit down and you look. And this is our island. We are on Bounty Reef. And this is Sunken Ashes and First Encounter. Um, we're not going to check out First Encounter today because I want that to be its own video. So let's check out Sunken Ashes. And maybe we should do some farming there. Um, see if we can get some, uh, see if we can farm some, uh, some fish, right? Now this also comes with a little crafting thing. So what can we craft on here? So found it, none of this stuff really. Well, I mean, I guess we can make an outpost wherever we go. But I don't really see much need for an outpost. Maybe a water purifier would be nice. Chest, drying rack, I don't know. You know what? Let's just bring everything we can with us. What's what's the point of leaving crafting materials behind, right? Is there any like point to that? Uh, well, we won't take that because we really don't need that. We'll take just the basic crafting materials, the stuff that you, I can actually use right now. By the way, I still don't know how to get dirt, so there's that. Uh, there you go. We'll dump all this stuff in there. All right, all right. I think we're good to go. Can we make sticks in here? You know what? I think we can't make sticks. No. We can't make sticks. So why don't we make some sticks before we leave? Alright, it's almost sundown. I was actually going to just say screw it and go sail out anyway. Because this thing does th come in a sleeping bag so I can sleep out on the you know, out on the ocean. Um, the thing is, like I said last episode, I think you get more sanity from sleeping in here. Uh, on the bed, which, you know, really makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep for six hours and I'm probably going to get up and eat. Get some sanity back. We'll get some sustenance. We'll get some uh, hydration. All right. <clears throat> and then uh, what are we looking at now? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and eat and drink anyway, though. Even though I probably get away with not doing it. Uh, consume and consume. And then let's go ahead and sleep for another... Uh, uh, let's go with six hours. Seven hours. We could really use the sanity. <laughs> Especially if we're going to be... Uh, we'll probably be sleeping out on the o ocean. Or like out somewhere. You know, I don't think I'll be getting back in one day. So, uh, new ability unlocked. Health. Wait, what? Ability. Oh, okay. I didn't... Um, again, I'm still getting used to the UI here. No, not construct. Equipment. Abilities. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Survival. Max health plus 20. 20%. Awesome. That's cool. Oh, wait. Six of nine. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, it's six of nine. So there's only nine. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Now what's our stats looking like? All right. I think we need to eat and drink again. Inventory. Consume. We have a problem with, uh, with food, but I am bringing canned food with me, so I think we'll be all right. I think we shall be okay. All right. So how do we sell this damn thing? Uh, right here. F use. Okay, alright. Alright, so now I need to decide which way I'm going. Um, so let's take a look at the map. So, am I pointing this way? Or can I put... Oh, there we go. And that should show up. That's not showing up. Am I not seeing it or maybe the sun's blocking it? I don't know. I can't really tell. So that's definitely a waypoint of some kind, but it doesn't look like it's showing up on the map. Maybe you need a compass for that? Maybe I need to unlock the compass? What do I need to unlock the compass? Uh, equipment. Compass. No, you have to find the compass. Okay, fair enough. 
All right, I'll figure it out. Let's just get going. It's kind of weird. It's not showing up. Maybe... It... Hmm. I thought I remember the uh, waypoint showing up. So it looks like we need to go this way. Am I actually turning? I don't, it doesn't look like I'm moving on the map. Let's take a look at the map again. All right, guys. Well, unlike a lot of other survival games, in this game, the sun actually rises in the east and sets in the west. So if that's east, that's northeast. That's where I'm heading. I started heading out there, and it is the proper direction. So uh, let's get going. Oh, boy. We're, go we're going out to a new reef. All right, so uh, some of you guys said that if you if you take too much fish in one area, they are gone, not coming back. I think it's and then they said I think it's two spots with fish in the area. Now I don't know what that means, but how much fish can I take out? And here's the real question I, I need answered: Will the fish repopulate? Like, let's say I start harvesting the fish, but I'm doing it responsibly, which means I'm not overfishing. But will it eventually run out of fish no matter what I do, or if I you know, don't overfish an area, will it repopulate so I could keep fishing it? Is First of all, the idea of one person overfishing an area is kind of ridiculous. I get that. A lot of people said that. But it's for game balance reasons, which is fine. I mean, you know, if you could just fish all you wanted, then food wouldn't really be an issue, right? So I kind of like the idea that you have to go to other places to fish. It's, it's, it's cool. I get it. Um, but people are right, though. You'd never outfish an area by yourself. Never. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> so... The ocean's a big place. A lot of fish in it. All right, so now we need to go east. Now we need to follow the sun. Where is the sun? Where comes the sun? Doop -a -doo -doo -doo. Oh, boy, that is deep. That is not anywhere I need to be right now. So I think we need to go this way. Um, yeah, so I, I need to know. Like, um, Oh, there we go. Reef discovered. So I, I, what I want to know is if, like, say I harvest fish here for like a couple days and then I go somewhere else and harvest fish and I go to another reef and harvest fish there, um, can I just go from reef to reef and they, the fish will repopulate? Or is there a certain amount of fish and once they're all harvested, they're gone? Because fish do reproduce. So I don't think it should be a, you know, they're all gone situation, like ever. You know what I mean? Unless you really go crazy with it. This looks like a bit of a deep part. So, oh, oh, this is where the this is where the lava is. Yeah, I think this is where you can mine iron and stuff, if I remember correctly. Oh, that thing. oh boy, that is deep, dude. That is. I can't get down there. At least not. I'll get down there, and by the time I get down there, I'll have to swim up. Like I won't be able to do anything. All right, guys, I found a spot here. I might be able to do some stuff at. <clears throat> not too deep. Not too deep at all. I need to get some snorkels or something. I think you can get snorkels or like some. I don't know, some flippers or something. So let's see what we got down here. I do see some barrels and some fake fish, some fugazi fish. Might as well grab these barrels because why the heck not? Um, yeah, there's going to be some iron here, but like I said, I think you need a pick for it or do you need a pick for the iron? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It makes sense that you do, but I'm not really sure. So I'm sure people let me know in the comments. This game is not, not very well known. It really isn't. It's a good game, though. I'm having fun with it. Just like every other every other early access game, it's got its issues. They all do, but that's why they're in early access. If they didn't have issues, they'd be in full release. Um, not seeing any. So that looks like the edge right there. So I think we want to go uh, this way. Oh, there's some mines, by the way. I don't know if what happens with those. I'm pretty sure you can set them off and die. But... Not 100% sure. And I'm not about to find out. Maybe I'll mess around with it later. I mean, I could always save the game. I think we'll make a uh, check out first encounter next episode. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, what do we got here? Anything? Nothing? Really? This looks like an interesting place. There's nothing here. Aww. I don't like that. I need to find something where there's cool stuff going on, man. Uh, what about over there? Anything over there besides landmines? Or no, they're not land. What? How many times did I call them landmines? I mean, <laughs> oh man. Listen, I'm no expert on mines or explosions or anything, um, but yeah, they're probably not landmines because that wouldn't make any sense. Alright. 
there anything over here besides the um the stuff you can mine up or I should probably try and find one and see if I can mine with this. Probably can't, but wouldn't be worth it would it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be the worst idea to check it out. Oh, look at this one. Wow, this is, these are all burned up underwater. Wow. I think I see some ore down there. It looks like sulfur. You know, I might actually use the axe because now that I think about it, I don't think you do make a pickaxe because where is it? Maybe, oh, you know what you need? I'll bet a level two or a level three axe, right? That would make sense. Not as much sense as needing a pickaxe, but still. I, mean, I guess they didn't want to add a pickaxe to the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is sulfur. Well, let's see what we can do. And there you go. I'll bet you dollars to donuts. You keep the dollars, I'll take the donuts. That I wouldn't have been able to do this with a tier one tier one axe. What do you think? I don't know what my heartbeat's about. I thought it was oxygen, that's why I started heading up. But it's not oxygen. It's gotta be food or water. So let's get up here and check it out. See what the dealio is. Man, it takes a long time to get down there and back. Ugh. All right, what do we got? Yep, water. All right, fair enough. Got some water. And I'll have one of these too, for reasons. How are we looking now? Oh yeah, we're good. All right, let's see if we can find some iron or something. Cause sulfur's pretty cool, but not as cool as iron. Oh, is that iron? I think we found some iron. That looks very ironish, doesn't it? Oh boy! We got some iron ore, baby! Not a lot, but... I don't know, it's three pieces a lot? I don't know. I gotta make a smelter, I gotta make an anvil. I gotta expand my base. I got to do it all. By the way, um, like I said, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I would strongly suggest if you guys are playing this game, um, upgrade your upgrade your axe to level 2 before you come here. Because... First of all, upgrading your actually be one of the first things you do because it's, it's it gives you double the resources in half the well, not double the resources in half the time. It gives you the same resources in half the time. I mean that's just phenomenal. Plus, I'm pretty sure you need it for the iron and the anything else you mine here. All right, so what do we got here? We need to make some dynamite, man. I want to start blowing these things up. See what's inside of them. Okay, so what do I want to look at next? I don't know. I just kind of want to look around. Yeah, we can grab some more barrels. Why not? I'm not seeing a lot of crates. I guess the idea is all the wooden crates in here are just burned up. Oh, we are starting to get full on inventory. So that's not good. Well, you know what I can do? I can go up to my raft and dump stuff off. All right, guys, I've been looking around for a bit. Other than the iron and the, you know, sulfur and stuff, I don't think there's too much else here. Also, I wonder what that sulfur is used for. It's got to be used for the dynamite, right? I don't think you can get guns in this game, so the only thing I would think sulfur would be used for is dynamite. So, but I would like some dynamite. I'm not going to say no to some dynamite. I mean, who would pass up dynamite? Not me. Break open all those containers, see what's in them. I've never broken one up, so. But we definitely got to make a lot more crafting stations. I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe not build my base. You know, usually what I do is I try and make this like crazy big cool base and it, it usually slows me down. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, you know, I'd like to make all the crafting benches and, and actually progress in the game. But I, I gotta make my base first. I gotta have somewhere to put my stuff. Apparently those are whales, by the way. You guys were saying. Yeah, so I, I gotta have a place to put my stuff. So I gotta make my base. And then I never progress. Or I don't progress as fast as I would like to. So maybe I should just stick with the basic, most basic, you know, setup. And just kind of progress as much as I can and then build later. I don't know. I will think about it. What is this? Okay, don't care. Is that more... It doesn't quite look like iron. It kind of looks like iron. I thought there's something else down here besides what I've harvested. No, that's iron. Okay, and we'll get some more iron. The iron is what was weighing me down. Who thought iron would be so heavy, huh? Not me. Not me. I hate those freaking mines, dude. Hate them. Hate them. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. I wasn't even that close to it. Well, <laughs> oops. <laughs> you know, as I was swimming up to it, I was thinking to myself, I should go mess with those mines. 
you know, and see what happens. And then I was thinking to myself, oh, I'll be all right. You know, I'm not that close. Let's not mess with them. What, what's the point, right? Um, not much point. So, eh, well, you know, I guess I was forced to mess with it. Um, so we didn't really lose that much. Not a big deal. Let's continue looking around. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, you really can't get close to those mines at all. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought you can't go close to a landmine? Or, oh God, you caught a landmine one more time, Cage. I'm going to slap the taste out of your mouth. Um, <laughs> who'd have thought you couldn't get that close to a mine? Right? I don't know. I wish I was warned. I wish someone warned me. Probably 50 people warned me in the comment section. Man, you really need to get some sleep, dude. I don't know what's, I don't know what's with me yawning so much recently. I've been getting some sleep. I've been getting a crazy amount of sleep, but I've been getting some sleep. I don't, I don't feel like I should be yawning all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I've been up late playing Diablo 3 Got back into Diablo 3 so that's fun Good game Good game I forgot how good it was Alright It's no survival game You know but sometimes you gotta take a break from the old Survival games you know you Can't just play one type of game all the time At least I can't Maybe some people can I can go stretches of playing one type of game You know um, maybe I remember I used to play um I used to play MMOs like they were, like, freaking the most awesome thing in the world. Um, I played Diablo like that. Diablo 2, man. Oh, my God. Diablo 2 was my jam back in the day. Holy crap. And as much as I love Diablo 3, it doesn't hold a candle at Diablo 2. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Um, it's cooler than Diablo 2 in some ways, but the gameplay in Diablo 2 is just... Mwah. That was Blizzard at the height of its power. Um, and, and Blizzard now is okay. In some ways, Blizzard's actually better. Um, more, more from a corporate making money standpoint than a gamer standpoint, you know? But they do make great games. I mean, I love World of Warcraft. I love, uh, Diablo 3, you know? Um, I would like Hearthstone if I could beat anybody at it. Uh, <laughs> what else? I'm not a big Overwatch person. I don't like Overwatch. It's too... I don't know. I don't know what I would call Overwatch. It's too... I don't know. It's too something. I just don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Um, and I'm not opposed to first-person shooters. As a matter of fact, I've been itching to get back into uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Um, I would really like to play some Left 4, Left 4 Dead 2. The problem with Left 4 Dead 2 is the way I play Left 4 Dead 2 is versus. And it's highly, highly skill-oriented. And I'm not talking about skill from a first-person shooter standpoint. I'm talking about skill from a how well do you know the map standpoint. I know the maps very well in, in, in Left 4 Dead 2, and I'm very good at it. And I have no Twitch skills whatsoever. But I know the maps, and I know the strategies, so I do very well in it. And, you know, Left 4 Dead 2 is kind of a have and have nots situation. The people that are good in Left 4 Dead 2 are unbelievably good in Left 4 Dead 2, and the people that are bad have no chance. So, um, it's, it's a real, like, problem. I've played with people, and they're like, you know, can't really do anything, you know? Um, so, it's kind of boring. So, and I totally get that. Because I played against people with like, you know, I have about, I don't know, maybe a thousand hours in Left 4 Dead 2 maybe. Um, you know, and I've played against people with thousands of hours. And, and they're tr they're right, man. You, you, when you play with someone that talented and good at the game, it's just forget it. You got, you're got you wasting your time. Unless you're just cool with getting your teeth kicked in repeatedly. Um, I don't always need to win, but I do, I do like to feel competitive. And if I'm not feeling competitive, I don't want to play. Because like... That's just not... That's not fun. It's not fun for the people winning. It's not fun for the people losing. And, um... Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, Blizzard, man. Diablo 2. Oof. I played Diablo 1 when it first came out. It's pretty good. Never really caught my, like... Imagination. It, it didn't really catch me. Um... Even Diablo 2 when it first came out didn't really catch me. Um... It took Lord of... The, the Lord of Destruction expansion. And there, was a, and there was another, like, content update in Diablo 2 that allowed you to start crafting stuff. And that really really caught me that was when diablo 2 was at its height at its height all right guys i obviously don't have anything else to do here on this reef because i've been talking about diablo 2 for five minutes um so i do think i'm going to call this one here what are we gonna do next episode there's two things we could do next episode we can go check out the the new island the uh, first encounter or we can start progressing and building uh, crafting stations now by the time i see you guys comments you can tell me what you want me to do but just so you know i won't see your comments by the time I um, by the time I record next, so I can't I can't take your comments into account because I won't see them. But I'm still always like interested in seeing what you guys have to say. So either first encounter or crafting stations. I'm thinking, excuse me, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, first encounter though. We'll see. By the way, I didn't see any fish down here to harvest. I should probably have looked for fish. 
I'll do that off camera. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.